Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. If you are uh, finding the videos useful and helpful, please uh, hit that subscribe button, tap that bell for notifications, and uh, tap that like button and share the videos. And also, please, please leave a comment. Love to hear from you. Uh, today, we're going to get into something a little bit more detailed than maybe what I've been doing in the past. So we're going to break this down into multiple videos. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the timer on uh, and try and uh, I did it in one long video and it was maybe too long and maybe difficult to follow along. So I thought I'd just go ahead and break it up into smaller videos. So let's get going on this thing. So first, what we're going to do is grab a ring rail uh, and we'll just go ahead and take a size seven, of course. And when I'm designing it, I'm just going to use the most simple way I'm not going to get into a lot of design uh, to speed things up but you can use different kinds of profiles there's a lot you can do here so let your imagination go wild uh, we're gonna grab a uh, line curve this is just basically for me to be able to kind of gear what's going on out here and where everything's lining up at so I'm gonna type in a uh, 2.5 on this one here and hit enter hold down shift and draw that out I'm gonna right click bring back that command go to uh, both sides oh, right click bring back the command go to both sides uh, click on here and I'm going to take it out maybe uh, 1.5 on each side and then hit enter and then hold down shift so I have something like this and then right away I'll go ahead and take that and I'll just mirror that over to the other side real quick just basically it's just giving me a little guideline so I can kind of see how this design is going to flow out uh, I don't want this in the way so I'm just going to go ahead and hide it uh, wrong one this one here <clears throat> So our, our ring rolls right in here. This is 2.5 out, right? So, okay. So let's go ahead and get going. Uh, we'll grab a gym. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Mm, just ate dinner. Uh, let's go to a uh, round. We'll go to a pear shape and we'll hit enter. And we'll just click on that and get the gem offset curve. I'll click on my window and then hit enter and then delete the gemstone. I just want the offset curve. And I'm going to take it out just a little bit past my uh, F, F4 there. And I'm going to select on that. I'm going to go to my transform and parametric. And I'm going to turn off X, turn on Y, and then hit enter. Uh, now I'll go back to my curves. And we'll just grab a uh, e ellipse or oval uh, from center. And then I'll go from F4, but I'm going to change this back to yellow. And drag it up here somewhere, uh, wherever you want it, I guess. And then uh, click it out. And you can manipulate it after you get it out there, however wide or thin you want it. Uh, we'll just say that this is uh, good to go for us. Uh, and then uh, that will accept that, okay? Uh, now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch to red, and I'm going to go ahead and lock this layer so we, we can't pick those points, right? Or those curves, rather. Uh, so I'll go back to my gems. I'll grab another gem, and this one I'm going to go ahead and grab a per, uh, pear shape again, uh, and I'm going to flip it 100 flip it uh, 180 degrees so it's pointing in the <clears throat> other direction don't ask me why i like to go to the top i could have gone to the bottom <laughs> uh, and just put that out there and then click on it uh, accept it and then go to my offset curve because that's what i want and then i'll just click on my window hit enter and then delete my gem uh, now this curve here i can't select it because it put it out there in yellow so i'll have to turn back on my uh yellow there layer and then i'm going to change it to red and then i'll just go ahead and lock that yellow again okay now here maybe i want it out just a little bit more something like this but i want it uh out going around so i'm going to drag this out a little bit something like that right uh and we'll say that's what i want <laughs> All right, uh, so I'll select that curve. I'll go to my transform again and parametric mirror. And again, I will turn it on the X direction off the Y and then hit enter. All right, and I'll also go back to my line curves uh, menu and grab a uh, ellipse or oval uh, from center uh, F4 and kind of do the same thing. I'll, I'll take it to that point there and drag it out. So it goes something like this here. 
All right, uh, so now we have all this mess out here. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hide my uh, yellow. I'm going to select all my red, and I am going to do a little trimming uh, and just get rid of all this center section here. So I have that, all right? Uh, and right now we have uh, several different curves. We're going to want to uh, make those a little bit of uh, filet on there. So we'll go to scroll down here to our cleanup. And we'll just select the top one there. I have it set at 0.5, so that should be fine. I'll select this curve, this curve, and it gives me a little uh, fillet there. And I'll go to this one, bring back that command, right-click, select that one and that one. And then I'll do the same, right-click, bring back this one this one, and right-click. And I have a join set to yes and trim set to yes, so it'll automatically do all that for me. Uh, select this curve and this curve and there. Now we have the one curve uh, right there, right? Okay, so right here, uh, I'm going to go ahead because I can explode this curve, right? So if I go in here and I try to explode it, it'll go into 10 segments, right? So I'll back out of that. I don't want it exploded. I want it all one curve. Uh, so I'm going to go all the way down here to uh, Edit Tools, and I'm going to Fit to Tolerance, right? Uh, and then just hit Enter, so it accepts it right there. So it's all one curve, right? And now I cannot, I, well, I don't think I can explode it. Let's see, explode it, yeah. It exploded into three curves, but we'll back out of that. Uh, fit to Tolerance should give us a little bit better uh, options later on down the line and I'll, I'll explain that as we go uh so let's turn back on our yellow uh so we can kind of get a look here we'll let's select this curve and i'm going to uh duplicate it in place uh, and then i'm going to select one of those curves and i am just going to hold down shift and make it a little bit wider than that because we're going to have like a stairs uh going up to our re item right so we have this right okay uh so hopefully that'll work for us and now i have this so i this is where the end of the ring rail 2.5 is right i'm going to take that and i'm just going to drag that out just a little bit something like that uh, and then i'm going to go ahead and get rid of this and then get rid of these so i'm going to work off one side uh, i'll go to my arc direction right here uh, and we'll switch back to yellow at this point and that I'll turn my yellow back on. So we'll, we'll click out here, somewhere around here perhaps, and we'll snap there, and we'll just kind of give it a little U-shape going in, right? Uh, we'll select that, we'll go to Transform, we will go to uh, Parametric Mirror, and again, X off Y, and then hit Enter, right? Uh, and now I have this curve, but I need another one. So I'm going to duplicate that one uh, in place. So I have two there now. I should have two. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to take one of them, and I am going to split with these two curves. Here, enter. And it's going to break history. No big deal at this point. Uh, and the curve that I split, I'm going to take the rest of that curve and just delete it, because we don't need it anymore. But we do need this curve later, perhaps. So we're going to keep... So now at this point, I'm going to grab that little section, right? That little section that we did, and I'm going to turn on points. And that's a lot of points there. Let's see if I can rebuild that. Oh, because I did the, uh, whatchamacallit, fit, right? Fit to tolerance. So let's go ahead and select this curve, not the control points, the curve. Yeah, this curve here. And let's let's try and rebuild this a little where it doesn't really change it too much. Seven three, let's take it down to five. And maximum deviation five point three. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Well let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and take that. As long as they're still connected here or on that line there, it should be fine. Yeah, let's try this. All right, so we have, uh, <clears throat> I'll grab that point, this point, and 
this point and go to my right side here and I'm just going to click there and go up to maybe a 2.5 and then hit enter so I have something like that that's kind of not the shape I want so I'm going to take this and take this here and I'm going to drag them down a little bit and maybe out a little bit give me a little bit of a dome shape type thing uh, and then I'll take this one and maybe drag it up just a little, you know, you can play around with this however much you want. Uh, and then I'll take all those and maybe drag them down, keep my shape a little bit. But I don't want a 3 millimeter up there, maybe uh, just a 2.5 or something like that, one two and a half, something like that. And I'll double click on my escape key to get rid of those points, right? And when we drag this curve up, you can see that it pulled away from our because we just dragged it straight up right so we're going to turn back on those points again and again i'm going to select this one this one and this one and i'm just going to drag them on inside there something like that right uh and then double hit on uh escape now i have this curve so this i don't need that anymore so we're just going to go ahead and go back to our arc direction and snap to that end there and that end there and we'll go to all perspectives and i will hold down shift so it goes straight up and then i will take that curve because definitely don't want a one and a half millimeter there uh, and we'll turn on points and we will go ahead and drag those points up a little bit higher something like that and you can see here that it kind of gives us a little maybe a uh, shape that we're not really liking so we can click on that curve and go to rebuild and this th we'll go ahead and uh, uh, we should be okay with those points there so uh, we'll go ahead and grab these two first I don't like the way it's bowing out there so I'm going to drag it in so it's more straight uh, but then I want to drag those up to give us a little bit more uh, U shape going on right uh, and then I'll go ahead and select all those points and then drag them down so it keeps our U shape. Uh, but uh, not losing a lot of the outside here, right? They're more straight up, right? So we'll just go ahead and take that. All right, uh, so we have this out here. So let's go ahead and see how this works for us. Let's turn on these points again. Just see what's going on. Let's take this one here and yeah something like that should be okay all right so we have this right and i'll get rid of those points and now let's try a surface two uh one two three and four and then hit enter and we'll give it some shading so we can look at it we don't want those caps on there so we'll get rid of all those caps and kind of take a look at our surface here and it looks okay the other the only last thing you need to kind of maybe take a look at is we'll go to all perspectives for this and kind of watch right in here and here uh maintain height right if you turn off maintain height it has a little bit more of a dome uh or you can just kind of slick there i think i kind of like the little domey action so <laughs> we'll just go ahead and say that's what i want and then hit enter okay so now we have this i'm going to try to explode this here real quick uh, cannot expose single surface and that's exactly what I want a single surface okay so we have that now we're going to select that curve there on the outside right and we'll go to all perspectives again kind of watch how it draws out and we want to drag it up past this surface extrude it uh, at least a half a millimeter so something like that perhaps right uh, and see how this looks and that might cut for us okay all right so we'll take this now i'm going to take this and i'm going to explode it here because i want to see how many pieces and where are pieces oh that's not good now that goes there but this one does not so before i do anything else this i can just get rid of but this here could pose, a, well, not really, because this is not, can, cannot explode. That's a c single surface. So I guess we're okay. Yeah, we should be. Yeah. 
Okay, so that surface is not good for us, but this is all one. We could merge these two surfaces together, uh, but then it would distort some things. So we'll just go ahead. Actually, we'll just go ahead and get rid of that for, well, no, we'll need that here for the future. So let's just go ahead, take this, this, and join it back together real quick. Okay, <clears throat> the main thing is, is this half needs to be at least one piece, right? And we're going to work on that later, so we'll explain it as we go. All right, uh, so now we, need, we have this, right? So we need to get this cut out. So let's take that, and we'll split it with this here and hit Enter. And it cut that piece out for us, which is good. Now we'll take this surface here, and we will split it with this surface here and hit Enter. And let's see if that... Yep, that did it for us. Okay, so we have that opening there. Now, next thing we want to do is uh, we want to uh, fillet this. We don't want to just butt it in there. We want to give it some little uh, more uh, smoothness, I guess. Uh, so we're going to go to fillet, uh, fillet surface, and I have it set at 0.5, and that's why we hopefully dragged it up past 0.5. So if we do here... Uh, trim yes uh, in here and it should give us that there and it trims it all up for us okay i'm going to take this surface and this surface and turn them to green i want to keep them the same there okay now at this point what we can do is just go ahead and take these three surfaces uh, let's let's go ahead and turn this one to this color here so let's take these three surfaces and let's go ahead and mirror them over to the other side just so that we have them there and we'll go ahead and hit enter so now we have this that's kind of the basis of our option there all right so uh now what we want to do is we, like i said we're going to make it a stair stepped right so we're going to grab this one we're just going to uh drag it up to where we think we we want it and let's go in all perspectives here we're not even at five millimeters yet, so we can we can drag it up quite a bit or whatever, uh, and then we can go ahead and accept that around there perhaps. Now there's lots of ways we can do this. Uh, so let's first of all we need this rail here, right? So let's grab a uh, curve and go all the way, or curve ribbon rather, and then go down here from object and then hit duplicate border and that'll be this border and this border and we will hit enter and we will join those together so that we have one open curve there all right uh now what we want to do is set this up so we can get good look on everything uh we'll go back to our uh, arc direction right here and then go here there's lots of ways you can do this you can do a blend if you did the surface there but we'll just go ahead and snap it to that endpoint and that endpoint and kind of hold down yeah you can kind of give it whatever shape you want we'll just go ahead and say that's okay uh, and then we'll uh, take that curve and we will transform it over to the other side mirror x direction off y so we have one over here on this side and one over here on this side and i'll click on my window and then hit enter all right so now let's try a surface two uh from this curve this curve that curve and that curve over there and hit enter and we get that hinky thing there okay let's go back in here let's try it again maybe i selected wrong one so select rails this curve here this curve here this and this and then hit enter and i did it again so what we're going to do is we're going to take this curve we are going to split it with this and this and then hit enter so broke history no big deal uh that curve uh, we'll just keep it there but uh, let's go ahead and uh, do that surface two again one two two one and one and hit enter and nothing none day <laughs> uh all right so let's go ahead and hide this surface so we're not it's not getting in the way this is one this is one that's one and that's one are they touching it looks like it so let's try it again surface two Sweep two, rather. One, two, 
three, four. There we go. All right, so let's take a look at this. First of all, we don't need any of this. And then again, that uh, uh, maintain height thing, uh, you can turn it on or off. I'm going to turn it off. I like that little curve there look a little bit better. And then I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to take this. I'm going to try to explode it, see what it does it does that down there and it keeps all that there so we're okay so i'm going to take that again take that again and we'll just join it back together here okay so we have that all right uh so let's turn this back on what's our time 19 minutes i wanted to keep it around 20 so uh, we'll go ahead and take this and we will transform mirror it over to our other side and then hit enter so we have one on both sides the last thing we need to do here is go ahead and select this curve here and it is a planar curve uh, so we're just going to go ahead to our surfaces and then uh, do a planar curve uh, right there no faces oh because they're not it's an open curve. We need to make it close. So we need to join these two curves, join this curve and this curve back together again. And then we can do that planar surface. All right. And then take that and change that to green right there. Right. Okay. So we have this pretty much. And you can see we got a nice little, uh, open area where it's going to be coming into the ring and uh, we have the surfaces all laid out, right? Um, 20 minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and just pause the video here and then I'll put two so you can kind of, you know, work with this, getting this all together because the next part, uh, this will be very important. I'll, I'll take that uh, green surface there and we'll turn it to gray, green, and then actually I'm going to take all green and turn it to white uh, so it'll be easier as we move forward to get it in. Yeah. All right. There are one more thing since we're here. Uh, we have this curve. Well, let's turn on wireframe so it's easier to see. Uh, we have this curve here, uh, up here around the top, right? We have this curve here, but we only have it on one side, right? So let's go ahead and mirror that over to the other side, uh, just just so we have it. Uh, X direction, no, 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 no. <clears throat> that's the Y direction, and it should mirror it over there. Yep, it did. And we'll just go ahead and take those two and go ahead and join them together. Check it planar curve closed and we'll just do a couple more real quick and then we'll pause the video you'll need these curves for later so uh might as well go ahead and get them ready uh and let's see we oh from object sorry uh duplicate we want to duplicate this one this one this one this one this one and we have them on the other side there, so we're good. Let's go ahead and duplicate that since we're here. And, oh, we got that one there. We need this one. And we'll just do this one for sake of uh, having it. And we should be okay with those, okay? So I'll hit enter. So we have all those curves. If I turn off my surface... You can see that we just have all the curves out there. This will be we'll be using later on toward the very end, uh, but we want it, we need to get it ready to get the shape of everything right. So this is kind of what we have right now, just laid out flat, right? We have this surface here, this one, and this one, and we have a nice little flow going in there. All right, so we'll go ahead and pause here, and then we'll come back and get going on the uh, the rest of it.